Welcome back to Don Gun Rumpa Nerds, Geeks, and Weebs. I am your host, Arden Murphy. Last time we found a mysterious laptop and a mysterious photo, furthering our questions and giving us no answers. <laughs> so let's continue. Okay, boys, why don't you head on back to the dining hall or something? We're going to take, take a nice long bath. Hey, come oh, on. Ah, jeez. What are you going to do, right? We lost. Fair and square. <laughs> well, ladies, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with a ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Oh. Um. um Damnation! Nuts and damn it! We totally lost! Another day without getting to take my very first bath here. Uh, um. Yeah, but tomorrow for sure. You'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. Okay, so we should head back to the dining hall now. Hey! Hold on! Hey! Hey! Something strange here. Very strange. Strange? What do you mean? <gasps> What's strange is this is the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's... Without a doubt. You're absolutely right. <sighs> I thought you were all about the 2D. <laughs> all of you need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak into the bathhouse like Monokuma said, or just go quietly back to the dining hall? No, I can't do it. I can't treat the girls like that. Let's just head back to the dining hall. <laughs> what? What? But what about your man's fantasy? I'm not sure a real man's fantasy should be about spying on girls and stuff. Makoto wants not being lame. It should be more about your hopes or your dreams or adventure or whatever. But anyway, I'm not going to spy on them. This is kind of depressing. I see. I can't even des describe my bitter disappointment. That primo fan service could have been yours. And with the right item... Uh, we would have gotten it from what I understand. <laughs> Good lord. We headed back to the dining hall, leaving Monokuma standing there alone. But to be honest, even I was a little reluctant to turn down the offer. <laughs> Boys have been cooped up here for days. Everybody's like, titties! <laughs> fantasy. Like fantasy. My fantasy. <sighs> so I guess you dig the real thing just like any other guy, huh? <laughs> Calling his ass out. Mm -hmm. The only reason I care is because it's a good reference for creating figurines. Yeah, sure, buddy, whatever. A real life woman is useless to me, but maybe looking at their naked form might be okay. Maybe. No way. The girls heard you say that? We'd all be dead meat for sure. God. <laughs> Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of busy voices growing louder. The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. You got it! Ah, man, what a nice bath! This is fine. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was a true pleasure. Indeed. Of course. Normally, after a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but... <laughs> Sorry! No time for that! So in the end... That's what I figured. Huh? Huh? Actually... We were just saying in the bath how it was about time for you to get up to something. Because... After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. Hmm. You're all so terrible to me. Uh. My entire existence! Everyone's so cold and mean, even after I got presents for you all. Presents? Well now, well now, well now, hmm. well now. Oh, have I got your attention? <laughs> so let's head to the gym where your presents await. See ya later. No questions. No dilly-dallying. Get a move on and everything will become clear. Oh. Um, Wh what is it? What are you scheming this time? It would seem... He's probably going to repeat the same thing again. Providing us with a motive to get things moving. Huh? Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. 
<sighs> Me either. I'm like totally traumatized. However. It's okay. We have Alter Ego. I'm sure he'll find something that'll help us. So for now. Correct. We have to just endure it. Come what may. Oh, look, it's Dickhead. With heavy feet, we made our way to the gym. But when we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. What? To be kept waiting by the likes of you. Rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. <laughs> God. Byakuya, <laughs> did you get here early? <laughs> did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple. Right foot, left foot, right foot. <laughs> the same as always, I see. Her, on the other hand. Oh, 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 she's back to regular Toko. What the heck? Oh, she's back to her Debbie Dad herself, huh? <laughs> hmm. I heard what sounded like a sneeze, and she was back to her old self. Reminded me of fucking launch from Dragon Ball Z. Classic. <laughs> so now she goes from manic to depressive whenever she sneezes? Seems kind of late to add that into the mix. <laughs> what the heck? Why does everyone keep making fun of me? I hope you all win the lottery and get hit by a b b bus. <laughs> so when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Well. Anyway, it looks like everyone's here. So then. Which means. What fresh hell awaits? You guys? It looks like everyone's here. So then, let's get started. What? Come on, out with it. What kind of motive do you have prepared for us this time? However. Whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We're not going to lose to you ever again. Come on. <laughs> you don't have to get so defensive. Calm down. I've decided to change things up a bit this time. Up till now, I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. <laughs> but sometimes, you gotta use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt. <laughs> Without further ado, I give you this! Ten million dollars! Ooh ah! I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive! What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! We've went from Among Us to fucking Squid Game. It's like totally wow 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 am I right? So that's the motive you prepared, is it? Ten million dollars is... <laughs> it's not nearly enough. It's true. When it comes to motives, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. Hmm. But... What are you saying? There's no way we'd kill each other for money. Of course. She's right. You can't simply purchase a person's life. Uh, um, you can say 10 million or however much. I don't give a crap. For serious. Yeah, they're all right. Whether it's 10 million or any other amount of money. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. <laughs> Come on, stop trying to act tough. I can't wait. I can't wait. The most important thing is to live a pure and moral communal life. Monokuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage along with a massive sum of money. Um... D there's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? Hmm. Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge others by your own standard. <laughs> yeah, there might be someone here who's having money problems. <laughs> Personally, I've earned over one million dollars from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. <laughs> I'm 
you. Hifumi, what about y you? You know nothing. I'm a super popular content creator. I don't have any problem making enough m to buy my comics and DVDs. <laughs> th 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 then. Hey. Just stop. Pressing others about their personal finances is ugly. Uh, uh, ugly? <laughs> Don't worry. Either way, whatever's going to happen will happen without warning. That is the nature of this game. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. Hmm. It's that time already, huh? Hey. Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my door open to make sure nothing happens to Alter Ego. But just because my door is open, don't assume that will make me an easy target. Because... Or the Predator may suddenly find itself the prey. Her voice was calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. You know? Okay, okay. Let's everyone just head back to our rooms. How about that? And don't think about that whole money thing, got it? Good. Then let's break. Hmm. How was that? Pretty good, right, Taka? God. Hmm. Right. It's so weird that Hiro has taken up Taka's space in this whole thing. Or his role. As soon as I was back in my room, I crawled into bed. Money. There's no way that's going to get any anyone to kill anyone else, right? I told myself that. But deep in my heart, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time about having our secrets revealed. And the fucking time before that. Even if the reason for it seems completely nonsensical, a murder can still happen. That's the lesson we learned. But this time? This time, it's different. I'm sure of it. Because of the program Chihiro left behind, Alter Ego... We finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, then I'm sure. <clears throat> little kids have it so easy. Because they can just put little in front of their name, and right off the bat, everyone thinks they're cute. Well, fine then. I want everyone to start calling me Lil Monokuma. See? Just by adding that, my cuteness goes up by at least, like, 10%, right? Yeah, the world doesn't have nearly enough lils. More lils would lead to the salvation of the world. Just imagine, lil arsonist, lil war criminal, lil destruction of the environment, lil hit and run, lil death tax, lil great depression. Even the darkest subject can suddenly become brighter. <laughs> like putting LOL at the end of something like passive aggressive. Our dreams are expanding, ding, ding. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Well then, I guess I should head to the dining hall. Dining hall time, motherfuckers. Leave the area? Yes. Hey, girls. Good morning, Sakura. Mm. Did you just wake up? Yeah. Mm. Waking up for our breakfast meeting is fine, of course, but getting up a little early is better. You can exercise in your room till nighttime ends. A big meal after working up a sweat is divine. 
<laughs> hey, Makoto. Hey, morning, Makoto. Good morning. You're kind of sweaty. Have you been exercising? That's right. Yep. Me and Sakura are doing our morning workout. Oh, but I didn't break our nighttime promise. I just ran around my room until it ended. Why don't you come with us next time? I don't think I could keep up with you and Sakura. Huh? Seriously? Ah! Okay, then we could do something in the rec room. I'm not good at much, but I do know how to play Othello. <laughs> I'm not very good at that either, though. I don't like to think when I'm playing, so... Girl, I feel ya. <laughs> ah, well, hello. Good morning. Morning. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's a great morning. A morning that has blessed my entire future. Really? It feels like any other morning to me. <laughs> Maybe you can't tell, but my soul is positively overflowing with strawberries today. <laughs> well, I'm off. Somebody's happy. That was bizarre. I mean, even for him. Dining hall time. Can somebody please check on Taka, by the way? Could it be? So, the people here today are the same as yesterday. Just us seven. Mm. Yakuya and Toko are a lost cause, but... Well... It looks like Taka's decided to stop coming for good, too. <sighs> it's like he's just given up. <laughs> for people wound as tight as he is, when you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was some way to make him better. Hmm. On another topic, Kyoko, did everything go all right last night? Indeed. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Correct. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago, and there weren't any problems there either, but... Kyoko seemed to hesitate, but... Whew. It's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. Anyway... I have to make a new rule. Using alter ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. Oh. I would have thought that would be obvious. Why do we need to make it a rule make a rule about it? Well. That's a good question. Hey. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? Oh. <laughs> um. No, it's just like you said, we all need to be very careful. <laughs> huh? Huh? See what? Whatever. Let's just hurry up and eat. We don't have time to stand around flapping our lips. What? What? Jeez, why are you talking like a pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden? Fucking lord. We ate breakfast in a rush and then headed back to our rooms. <clears throat> what should I do today? Free time. Oh, shit. It's free time, motherfuckers. I'm actually All right, we're back after using up the Mono Mono machine. And I got presents. Now, let me see if I can finish things up with Celeste here. Did you need something? Well, if it isn't the D-Rank Makoto, is something the matter? Hmm, should I hang out with Celeste for a while? Yes. This is fine. Well, then, shall we have a bit of conversation? Ah, but don't misunderstand. I have no affection for you on a personal level. They never do. I <laughs> spent some time with Celeste. Celeste said I grew closer today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give the presento. Where's that tea at? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. The gods heard my prayer and my wish has been granted. <laughs> this is all because of my daily sympathy and compassion, is it not? Seeing Celeste so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. <gasps> Celestia Ludenberg. Celestia Ludenberg. What are you doing? <laughs> no matter how many times I hear it, I never tire of hearing my own name. Isn't it so splendidly charming? Oh yeah, I've been wondering about that. Why that name? Well... Why? I mean, is it from something? Why'd you pick it? <laughs> I did not pick it. My name was given to me by my mother and father. 
Come on, that can't be your real name, can it? This is fine. It is indeed my real name. Make no mistake about that. Okay, so your parents gave you that name? Indeed. That's right. My father is French nobility, and my mother is part of a German family of musicians. There's no way that's true. But okay, so you were born in France or Germany? <laughs> Tochigi. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I was born in the capital of Tochigi, which is known for its delicious gyoza. Do you know of which city I speak? So it's the capital of Tochigi, and it's famous for its gyoza. Uh, I, I what? Uh, Utsunomiya? It's Utsunomiya, right? Oh. That is correct. You have proven you are roughly as intelligent as an elementary school student. Thanks, I took a wild guess. Or a high schooler, maybe? Actually. You may be surprised to learn that I absolutely adore gyoza. I love its stench, its base vulgarity. It's a lot of, um, garlic from what I understand. <sighs> So, as you can imagine, I am quite disappointed that I will never taste my hometown's gyoza again. Never say never, you know. Once we get out of here... Is that okay? We will never get out of here. How long will you continue with this ridiculousness? You should give up. Do you understand? If you don't, it can only lead to murder. Jeez, woman. Celeste's eerie words stuck with me long after she'd left. The more I talk to her, the more I just don't understand her. Celeste's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked the skill raise. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. When you find mono coins, you'll now earn more than you did before. Fuck yeah! Damn, that really helps. Once that was all finished, I headed back to my room. I've still got some time. What should I do? Ding dong! Huh? Sounds like someone's here. Uh... Okay. Oh, no. T Taka? Uh, uh. Is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? Huh? You mean Alter Ego? Uh, oh. He's still alive? N no, not quite. Hmm. Let me see. I want to talk to him. T Taka. The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use Alter Ego. But even so, I can't just leave him here like this. Okay, why don't we get going? You poor bastard. Man. Alright. Yes. Oh, hey, Kyoko. Just a second. Where are you going? Huh? Hey. It's probably best if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Kyoko looked at Taka, standing behind me. Y yeah I know that. But I was getting kind of hungry. I thought we could head to the dining hall or warehouse or something. Correct. Well then, I guess that's okay. I thought I saw a brief flicker of doubt, but maybe it was just my imagination. Oh, she knows. She's not, um... She's not dumb, bruh. Is that Toko? What? 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 Hmm? What are you two up to? Uh -huh. Don't tell me you're gonna... You're gonna... Mm, yes. Having yes. lost his new brother, Taka is ripe for the taking, so Makoto swoops in to steal him away. <laughs> Am I on fire? <laughs> I severely regretted talking to Genocide Jack, even if by accident. You SOB! But that doesn't matter right now. Have you seen Byakuya? Huh? No, I haven't. <laughs> Good heavens, my love is being pushed to the limit. 
<sighs> I almost feel bad for him. <laughs> Where is the bathhouse? Uh, oh, that would be this way. Okay, so there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And on the laptop, there's a program called Alter Ego. Uh, oh How my. do I talk to him? Oh, um, well, you just tell me what you want to say and I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? Ed, since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? It was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make sounds. Hmm. Please. Uh, okay. I typed the questions exactly as Taka had asked them. And then? So, um... Do you hold yourself responsible? But... If Master could talk now, I think this is what he would say. Please, live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape. All of you. Hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but quickly closed my mouth. Hey! The one asking those questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, that's the only conclusion I can come to. Um... Master told me how close Taka and Mondo had become. So that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark. And what appeared next was... Stop fucking around! You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? Ugh. Yo. A man's only worth as much as the load he can carry. You get it, right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do. Hmm. Th that's... I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation using the data about Mondo that Master had given me. I figured if Taka was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. Yo. So you're just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? Just take your time and get all depressed? Take the time to indulge your regrets. You might even start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. <laughs> what if I said it with that kind of condescending tone? Uh, uh. <laughs> Taka? Uh, uh. It's starting to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone-dry sponge. Huh? <sighs> Those words... Deep within my heart. They're inside of me. <laughs> Boy done turned Super Saiyan. Ch Taka? Yeah. Who the fudge is Taka? Ch your eyes. F you. Hey, don't worry about it. Guess I caused kind of a scene, huh? Shoot, man. And your voice. Yeah. I'm... A new me. I'm totally stuffed with fighting spirit now, you dumb butt. Okay, Taka, just calm down. What? I am calm. And don't call me Taka. That's... That's not my name anymore. I'm me. I am me. Taka let out a bone-chilling howl and ran out of the room. Hey, Taka, hold on! And I took off after him. But someone stood in my way. As if tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into the dressing room. Just a second. What do you think you're doing? Kyoko! Oh, um, no, see, this is just... Enough already. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems. And not just for me. For everyone. S sorry. Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here. Now. Okay. Uh-oh. Mama's mad. <laughs> 
Finally, I headed back to my room, embarrassed and sullen. But still, what was with Taka's sudden freakout? I'm seriously worried about him. Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. It's night time already. I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to figure out Taka's old thing. For now, time to sleep. You want to know why I hate video games? You might not believe this, but I had a best friend once. Actually, he was my only friend, but unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. They just bought the latest big budget video game. They sat there lost in the game, passing the controller back and forth for hours. But not me. I just sat there watching. That's right, I just watched. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. Just by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies. Even though I never actually played it. And I don't plan on ever playing it in the future, either. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Alright, I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. I need to tell everyone what happened with Taka yesterday. Let's go. Yes. Run, 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 run. You know? Yo, I've been waiting. Huh? Are you the only one here? Where's everyone else? Hmm. They went on ahead. Went on ahead? To where? Hey, come on. We can talk about it later. For now, let's go take a bath. Bath? Ah. No! Someone help! Yafumi, what's going on? Yeah! Makoto, save me! I've never asked you for anything, but I'm asking now! What happened? What? <laughs> she, she's trying to kill me! Ifumi pointed it. <laughs> huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you. <sighs> I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. I'd like to know why he made the same mistake twice. The same mistake? What did he do? So... He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and accessed Alter Ego without permission. And when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop and breathing strangely. Ugh. Huh? W what were you doing? Whew. I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since being subtle didn't work... Listen to me. I suppose I have to clarify myself further. No! Please don't kill me! Wrong. I'm not going to kill you. Merely instruct you. How very sad. <laughs> oh boy. What? I just want to hear him explain himself. Oh. Um, Hifumi, could you tell me what happened? Well... I just... 
I was just talking. However. Which was prohibited, was it not? <laughs> I mean, you see? Talking to her was just so much fun, and, and I just... Uh, um. Whoa. Okay, time out. I can't even believe I'm about to ask this, but... Ufumi, you're not going to tell us you fell in love or something, did you? Are you? <laughs> ha! That I, the cold-blooded killing machine of the underworld, would ever fall in love? That's... Well... Wait, no seem... way. Is... Is this... Love? According to the spirits... I happened to do a psychic reading for a certain famous CEO once. And that guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. How about that? And your eyes just now? I saw the same look in his eyes. You know nothing! Shut up! She's not a mannequin! She's an angel! I feel as if... And, and don't bother telling me angels exist. What we have can't be defined by your petty words. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, you're totally in love. <sighs> so, how did things end up like this? <laughs> well, at the beginning, I just wanted to hear her say master one more time. But, but then I was poking around at her settings and stuff, and I saw she was a well-designed program. And it was like, how can I say? It was the first time I, I was ever able to talk like that with a normal girl oh. but she's definitely not a normal girl what? even when all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything <laughs> your stories are so interesting Yifumi come on tell me more I want to learn everything you have to teach me I suppose that's the first time a girl's ever said anything like that to me Besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that to you? It's kind of amazing all by itself. <laughs> that's why it's I was just like... so happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Well. Even the keyboard? <sighs> I think you have misunderstood the situation, Hifumi. Are you okay with this? Alter Ego was not interested in who you were. It was interested in what you knew. It is an artificial intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course it wanted to hear of the things it did not know. You are an expert in many things Chihiro could not have taught it about, for what that is worth. Honestly. Alter Ego wants that information. That is all. I know that. I mean... I do know that, but still, are you saying it's totally hopeless? Yeah. You gotta be freaking kidding me. F you. Hey, you jerks. I'm sitting here listening to you guys jibber jabber on about whatever. Yo. Oh, Taka, are you back? Yeah. Who the hell's Taka? Huh? Um, you? Yeah. Listen up. I'm me, got it? What the heck? Huh? You're... who? What? Don't bullcrap me! Isn't it obvious? I'm Kiyotaka and Mondo! So like... Kiondo, I guess. Yeah! I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe! <laughs> what? what the... what the heck kind of fusion is this? <gasps> What's happened to you, Taka? Actually... I told everyone what happened the day before. Well, then. So, because of what Alter Ego said to him. Um... Are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. Uh -huh. Ghost? No, th th there's no such thing! Really, bro? Really, you believe in the mystic arts, but not fucking ghosts? Yeah! What are y'all whining about? Come on! What? God, you're really cheesing me off. Hey, Hifumi! What? <laughs> yes? Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but... F you! Bro belongs to me! Huh? Huh? Yeah. Alter Ego, he's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. <laughs> and I'm not gonna let anyone else have him ever again, fudging idiot. Oh, 
God. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't allow that. What? So it would seem. I can't withdraw. Mr. Ishimaru, since I have this opportunity, let me say this right now. That's it. I'm Destiny sure has bound me and her together in the Gordian knot of true love. <laughs> well, me and him have been melted together in the white hot heat of friendship. Hey, come on, you guys. Yeah! Moron, talk down to me and I'll wrap my fist straight into all four of your vital points. Please, please, well, I punch at the speed of sound and I don't have any arm hair, so there's no drag. Enough already. Knock it off, both of you. Hey. This doesn't belong to any one person. Shihiro left him to all of us. We can use him to finally gain access to vital clues. Mm. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares disturb our peace any further, hey, they'll have to deal with me. <laughs> what? Yeah, see, nobody wants to fuck with Mama Sakura. Anyway. Until Alter Ego has finished his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? So? I can't hear you. I... Yes. Oh. Yeah. Got it. So then. Okay then, let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Hey. Are you sure it's okay to let them off with a warning? Indeed. Yes, I have a plan. It'll be fine. After watching Hifumi and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. It's still morning, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Well, anyway, I have to just pull myself together. So what should I do with the rest of my day? <laughs> we got a little more free time, it seems. All right, maybe this will finish her up. <laughs> I have grown entirely accustomed to life here. With enough time, any place can eventually come to feel like home. Hmm, yes, hang out with Celeste. Oh my God, do it. As for me... I truly frightened myself. To captivate even insignificant little creatures like yourself. <laughs> okay. Yep, yep, yep. Present. I got just the thing. Where's that? Where's the... Rose Whippin Whippington? Come on. Rose Whip. <laughs> As for me Hello Makoto I must say I am quite troubled Huh? How come? Indeed I'd like you to teach me something What? Actually I want you to teach me how to play shogi Oh, uh, sorry I don't know how to play either Honestly I see You really are useless, aren't you? Okay, but I'm surprised you don't know how to play. Is it because there's no, like, shogi gambling circuit? Oh. Oh, there most certainly is. What, really? Indeed. But it is all underground. It is rather shady, all things considered. I have tried my own hand at it, naturally. Wait, even though you don't know how to play? Are you okay with this? That is why I wish to learn now. I placed my pieces without even thinking. What on earth was I doing? And you still tried to win an underground shogi tournament? <laughs> tried? Oh no, I did win. You won? Hmm. I didn't really understand, but apparently my final opponent was infamously powerful. I'm telling you, dude, she's a Yugi Moto, a fucking gambling. Or, or again, what's her name from Kakegurui? She was rather odd. She was a voluptuous woman who dressed in, uh, dressed as an exotic French maid. But how did you win? <laughs> beginner's luck, perhaps? I don't think beginner's luck works in Shogi. <laughs> Is that so? Yep, the more I learn about Celeste, the less I understand her. Celeste's report card has been updated. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Yay! Reeling from Celeste's fearsome past, I went back to my room. Lord, I still have some time. 
I feel like I'm wasting my time sitting around here. I should go look around. Uh, can I do it again? All right. Ah, Makoto, I should tell you. I have reached this. All right. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Adapting to my deplorable face. <laughs> God. Yay. Yes. Antique doll. Yes. Wow. So, I can have this? I may have to revise my initial impression of you. <laughs> the more wonderful things I receive from you, the better impression I get. Oh, my God. Look how quickly we became close friends, Makoto. Have we? Indeed. So let me share with you something. I will tell you about the biggest crisis I ever faced in my gambling life. Biggest? You had a gambling crisis? What happened? Hmm. A shadowy organization was hosting a mysterious tournament. The game in which I participated was called King of Liars. King of Liars? Are you okay with this? It was quite a severe game. When you enter, they strip you of all your assets. Money, property, everything. You must use your wisdom, cunning, and luck to battle through challenge after challenge. For the final match, I had to face off with an odd duo. They called themselves the Honest Woman and the Liar Genius. Wow, they sound pretty scary. Actually... Oh, that part is not important. But during a break, I was careless and spilled some tea on my clothes. I was terrified that the stain would never come out. That was a very difficult time in my life. Huh? Honestly. I was forced to win more quickly than I wanted, so that I could rush to the cleaners. I was able to get the stain out, but it was perilously close. <sighs> if I had waited even another hour, I would have been forced to throw out my favorite dress. That was her crisis? The biggest crisis she ever faced? I just don't even know what to say. Celeste report guard has been updated. <laughs> oh my God. You just unlocked the skill menacing focus. Yay. Positively dizzy from Celeste fearsome past. I went back to my room. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Lord. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Nighttime already. I guess I'll just head to bed for today. Oh boy. Happy New Day! I'm the kind of guy, I don't want to celebrate a new year. I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day. Because every new day deserves celebrating. So, once again, Happy New Day! You fucking goon. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I'd better get to the dining hall. Whew. On that note, folks, we're going to end it here for today. Like this video if it was entertaining. Uh, meet me down in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought. Subscribe for future Ropa content. And I'll catch you fine folks in the next one.